three months. Does everybody understand? Does that answer your question, bro? Um, it's starting to circulate uh, information that um, people should not be in the cities. I mean, it was before that certain things were going to happen in the year 2000 in the cities, but I've heard that starting in January 1999 that things are going to start happening. People should, should not be in the cities. That's correct. We're so what is this about? What is it? Uh, uh, red dogs or something like that? What could, what could you explain that? Okay, that's true. Okay. We'll do our best. Let's address the first part of your question. The reality is, no, we shouldn't still be out there. This is why Nietzsche, Authority, Atumre told everyone to move south, told us all to gather, to come to this land, Atumre, to build a land so we have a place to go. But so many people took their time in doing so. So now, here we are, we're running out of time, or as we used to, as we used to say, the hourglass is almost empty. You understand? And we're running out of time. And he's doing everything in his power to make sure that people have a place to come. And all he asks of us, of us is that we simply do what he tells us. You see, about a week ago he explained to everyone, the people that are going to suffer are those people that are living week to week, or month to month, or year to year. He explained to us that it's important that we begin to make, uh, make sure we're living day by day. He said, go out and sell something. Legally, of course, for those who, so you know, one say we say sell drugs, but go out and sell something. Whether it's our doctrine, if you're with us, or become a vendor, or something where you're able to live day by day and survive. An example of this was a few weeks ago when the stock market crashed 500 points one day and 400 points another day. That didn't affect most of us sitting here, correct? Did it affect anybody sitting here? Why? Because you're living day to day or week to week. And the people that it was affecting are those stockbrokers, people on Wall Street that are living year to year, the investors they call themselves. Overstood? Go ahead. Is that including the Atlanta City too? Well, it's important for us to be living where we are here right now. Under this clear sky, under the sun. Without all the distractions of the outside world, the loud noises of, uh, with ambulance sirens, the gunshots, you know, AIDS, airborne viruses. Nowadays you walk, you go to the city, you come, you go home, next you know you have a cold. You can't figure out where it came from. There's all type of bacteria and things that they're releasing into the atmosphere. So it's more than just saying we need to be out here in so far as the year 2000 or 1999 shutdown. We need to be out here in so far as our health. We need to be out here walking and drinking water from underground and not water from a faucet. In uh, yesterday's Atlanta Constitution, they're talking about how the water in Atlanta is poison. How many people read it? How many people got the uh, Sunday paper today? So these are the things that our teacher, Nietzsche Affinity, our Pharaoh, our deity in this day and time, has been telling us for years. We as a people are not paying attention to the media. We're not watching the news. We're not reading the newspaper. We're so caught up in the mundane things of who has better clothing, whose shoes look good, and who got a haircut. We're missing the big picture. You understand? And this is what we have to start focusing on. We have to come out here. Now, if you don't mind, you can answer the second part of your question. Um, I heard something about the Red Dogs. What, what is that? The Red Dogs is an organization that, okay, you have what's called the Federal Emergency Management Agency. And you have what are called certain executive orders that can be instituted. Again, this is explained in the book for those who want to get the book so you can get a better understanding of the book year, the year 2000 and what to expect. There are certain executive orders that the president has the ability to implement when a national emergency takes place. The Red Dogs is a branch of FEMA that can come in, shut a city down like the Lantern, Go around smashing people and doing with you what they want. Now it's very easy for people, for us sitting here today to say, they're not going to do that to me because I'm big and bad, but that sounds good. However, these guys are trained to come in and wreak havoc and put it back under what they refer to as martial law. This is all a part of their plot. Our only hope is to come out here and build for ourselves something that we'll have that will be worth defending. You can't defend our little apartments in Atlanta or Marietta or Augusta or Macon or wherever we, we, we live in today. 
We have to have a place where we know at least we, we can grow our own food, at least we can have our own water and be prepared to survive. This is not something Nita Authority Atom Ray has been saying recently. This is something he's been saying for years. It's brought back in 1990 in one of the bulletins. He explained how it's important for us to learn to start to live without light. At certain times, just cut the lights off in the house and learn to just survive with candlelight or in the dark. Most people didn't do it or didn't take heed to what he meant by that. We have to be prepared to survive. We're not saying come out here and everything's going to be uh, rosy and peachy. It's going to be hard here too. But we'll be able to survive because we're preparing. He's preparing us now mentally as well as physically. He told people, make sure you walk every day as if your life depends on it. How many of us walk every day? Honestly. You understand? We should all be walking because you don't know when it's going to take place. You don't know where you, what you might have to do. You might have to grab a child and run. And it may not be your child. You understand? We might have to run miles. You don't know. So it's important that we be physically as well as mentally fit. These are things he's been telling us. But our problem is, as a people, we like to wait till the last moment. And, that, and by that time, it's usually what? Everybody? Yeah. Too late. Does that answer your question? So the scanners, if they be scanning food with, is it true that they carry a certain amount of radiation they scan the food with? Well, there's a certain amount of radiation in just about everything today. This whole planet, when you see the sun setting, or what they, the appearance of the sun to set, and you see the red tinge in the sky, that's ionized particles of metal in the atmosphere. This ultraviolet radiation, just a few days ago they were discussing how there was a, a giant burst of energy that hit the planet. How many people heard of this nature? Overstand? And these are things that are taking place. You're surrounded by it. When you're living in these, in these big cities with all these electrical wires, they call it cancer clusters. We are being, uh, we're, we're being uh, made to turn into a mutant, a mutant gene. Look at the children being born. Years ago, grandparents, our grandmothers and our grandfathers had big old ears. Nowadays, you look at the children, you can barely find their ears. The nose is getting smaller because of air pollution, sound pollution, the ears are getting smaller, the eyes are getting bigger because of ultraviolet radiation and rays that are coming in. It's shrinking. The average man years ago stood about six feet, now everybody's five, six, five, seven, five, eight. We used to wear size 10, now everybody's wearing size eight, and size nine. Something is taking place to the human species as a whole. We're not talking about black and white thing, not that crap. We're talking about survival. Overstand? And this is the day and time we're in. Okay? Uh, in addition to the uh, year 2000 problem, there's another date that's uh, significant, and that is in year 2000. February 28th is not calculated as a leap year. So I'm sorry, I missed that last part. In addition to the year 2000, which we now know as uh, you know, January 1st would be the effect of the computer problems, there's another date that's not taken into consideration, and that is the leap year. The year 2000 is not calculated as a leap year. So that will be another day that computers will be affected as well. That's, that's news and that's very important. It's great that you brought that to our attention. That's something most of us didn't even know about or didn't realize. Yeah, there was a seminar that was held uh, on September 29th that a few colleagues and myself attended where they went into a lot of in-depth issues that would be happening starting January 1st. Well, if you can get some of that information and perhaps email it to us so we can get it, you know, get it to the public for those who need that to motivate them. Okay? Any other questions? Also, it's also important that you get the Nwapian uh, calendar because that also goes into it. This is why, uh, because the sisters mentioned it about the leap year. In the Nwapian calendar, as well as the book, um, the Nwapian Teacher's Guide, Nietzsche Authority, Atumbrea, explains in there why it was important that the ancient ones gave us a new time system, gave us a new time system through him because it was impossible for us to log true time as long as we were going off of their calendar. This is why you see these 19 flags over here to your right on these flagpoles. 
because we have our own time system, our own months, and as long as once we get in tune with that system, then we don't have to worry about that system out there that's collapsing. This is why it was important to create our own calendar, our own months, our own music, our own food, to create a culture so we won't be affected by the outside.